Hi guys and welcome to the channel. I am Marv and this is Readings by Marvelous Madame Sarah. Last but certainly not least, we are going to be looking at the weekly energy reading, carrying you through the energy of the 12th through the 19th for the beautiful sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pisces, we have to, we got to talk, but before we get into that, the big ticket item this week is the new moon in Scorpio. There's been um, squares and oppositions that has led us up to this. And um, with keeping up with that, this is going to hit you in the ninth house. Okay. We're going to get into that more tomorrow when I post that audio video podcast for you. I can let you know that looking at your cards, I definitely feel that you're having a hard time navigating through it. Um, why do I say that is because you do have a reverse card. Now, I typically read them intuitively. Now, when I, I have to clarify because over the years I've said I don't read reversals. I do read reversals because depending on what card is around it, it may be operating as a reversal, even though it's upright. That's my way of dealing with it. Because if, if the, if a energy is being led one way Pisces and I don't feel like based upon the cards that, 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 that beautiful energy can shine, I'm going to call it out and I'm going to call it out and I'm going to call it out and read it in reverse because its energy is not being fulfilled. It's not being realized because of all of the crap that surrounds it. So I want to say that I intuitively read reversals. Let's put it like that. Does that make sense? Probably not, but that's how I do it. So, but in other times when I sat with your energy and really was like asking, you know, spirit to use me as a conduit to tap in, it came out that way. So we're going to read it the way that it is in reverse. I do want to let you know that there is one other individual that got that queen of Pentacles that I love the image of that queen of Pentacles, by the way, is what drew me to the deck. Cancer got that queen of pentacles in a different place. So a fellow water sign, um, you could be dealing with a cancer. You can have cancer, pr pr prominent cancer placements, um, or you can be connected with one. All right. I want to point that out to you. All right, let's go ahead and unpack this. We, the six of swords has shown up in three of you guys readings this week. Um, and so that's where things that that's, that's what's leading you. Six of Swords. So you are just like with Scorpio, because Scorpio had that as well. Who else? Scorpio has Six of Swords. You have Six of Swords. Let me see who else has Six of Swords. Libra has Six of Swords. There can be a coordination, a, a correlation between Scorpios and Libras. I've already pointed out to them that both of them had it. And that's it. I think that's it. I try to write them down when I can, guys. You are trying to move away from things that no longer serve you, Pisces. Now, I know that's going to be damn hard for you to do, but you are. Um, Six of Swords um, leading this reading is that you are trying to move on or depart Leave behind what no longer serves you and accept. <laughs> That's what you're trying to do. The heart place shows, though, you are not in alignment because we have a page of wands. Page of wands is in your heart, just like it was for Aquarius. So you're out of alignment because what you want, although you're trying to move away from things that no longer serve you in your heart, you are requesting or hoping that this person place or thing returns to you because a page of wands is a, 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 a message of adventure and excitement and new ideas and energy and fearlessness. So I'm feeling like you're moving away from something, but at the same time, you want something to begin in your heart. You want this message. And when we look at hang man, 
it's in reverse. So the hangman in reverse, unfortunately, you're not looking at, you're not enlightened. You are basically refusing to be upside down in enlightenment and refusing to look at this from a different perspective. So just like when I told the Aquarians that there will be no justice without truth. Okay. I'm going to tell you that you are not going to move forward in any type of energy unless this hangman is and until you accept that the hangman is here to tell you something. The hangman has a specific action for you. And when it is in reverse, you are indecisive. You are reluctant to make a decision or reluctant to accept the very change that you want to lie to yourself with the six of swords and say that you're ready to accept. That's my point. Now you have a, a reversal. It actually did come out like that, but it's, it, it contradicts because one and the moon didn't come out either. One part of you wants to move away from this, but the other part is not. Even though now is the time for action and actually moving away from no long, what no longer serves you, you do not feel 100% ready to take that action right now. As a matter of fact, you are flat out. Uh, the energy is here in reverse. You are flat out basically ignoring the fact that you need to take action. You want to do this in your own time, but the more you stay here, the more you're going to see that you're not going to do anything. You're almost ready to make a change. Let me give you some credit. Almost. Um, if you've been reflecting on this for a long time, which Pisces, I know your energy can have you thinking about some shit for so long, then you are almost ready. You're almost ready. Um, at some point, you will move forward with the renewed self of passion and energy and accept that um, new page of wands that is coming. Please do it now. Um, this ninth house is your wisdom. Allow this new moon in Scorpio to, um, uh, to guide you to um, new wisdom. Okay. What led you to the six of swords? What led you there is the ten of pentacles. Now, someone else had this and I believe it was Scorpio. So this is very interesting because Scorpio had a 10 of Pentacles as well. And it completely contradicted everything else. And I was able to see that. So a 10 of Pentacles is going to bring you that beautiful legacy wealth and um, bring you, you know, solid foundations and stability and traditions but that led you to moving on. So that obviously means that you realize this in the past and, and the past led you to the present. So you're doing this and maybe you're doing it by yourself or maybe something within that 10 of Pentacles is not realized the way you want it to be, which led you to the fact that, you know, you have to move on and accept something within the 10 of Pentacles. So let's talk about when the 10 of Pentacles is in shadow. So when the Ten of Pentacles is in shadow, you are more so worried about the fact that you won't be accepted. So this is all about rejection. You may be overly concerned with obtaining approval so much that it completely like it, it like you, you want to be accepted. You want this long term stability that comes from this, but you're worried. You're, 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 you're going about it the wrong way. You're overly concerned with obtaining approval instead of understanding that you don't need that, especially from your family and your friends. Um, and also maybe whoever this person is that you're with. Ten of Pentacles represents the abundance, family, and legacy. It represents like what two people, like the pinnacle of what two people in a solid, healthy relationship can achieve together. So I feel that right now, 
you are so overly concerned with the long-term viability of the relationship, yet at the same time, you're obsessing over material things. So then the Ten of Pentacles defeats the purpose because you want to achieve all of these things and you're empty on the inside. Um, rather than thinking about emotional connections, which you normally do, you could be more connected with other aspects. Again, this approval from like, you know, your social statuses or your family background. Um, there's definitely a family thing here. And I think that some parts of you are shedding that away. Um, something with that Ten of Pentacles in the past brought you to moving on. I think that you wanted to bring somebody with you and that didn't work. But then we're looking at a Queen of Pentacles at the top of the deck. So present energy has us in the damn queen of pentacles. So pentacles are definitely your priority. I, I'm sorry. I think that this is a relationship. This is generosity and caring and nurturing and practicality and comfort. I believe that you came across um, insecurity, jealousy. There is possessiveness. There is um, not feeling self-confident, which goes back to that approval. You feel so focused on what your idea is of what, what this means instead of focusing on the right thing. It's like you want to desire what belongs to someone else. That makes sense. You feel other people should have it, so why shouldn't you? Focusing on the abundance and riches. You're, you're focused on other people and what they think and how they accept you instead of focusing on what's in front of you. You also have been going back and forth and not wanting a person to leave you because you're afraid of abandonment. This is, a, this is a really selfish and shallow type of uh, feeling. So I'm going to let you know right now, Pisces, that you want to move on from what no longer serves you. But you are refusing to look at what the hangman is trying to tell you. And honestly, that's the only thing here that would have remained. But because it came in reverse, you're flat out refusing to look at it. You want to do it on your own time and you have every right to do it on your own time. But the unfortunate part is, is that you, you over, you, you overstay and doing it on my own time. Almost doesn't count is what I'm going to call this. It's time to, to, to move forward with a sense of renewed sense of passion and energy that the change is coming. You're, you're refusing to surrender. You're refusing to look at this in a different perspective, and that's the reason why you're here, okay? This is where we're going to end it, and that's what remains. Like, share, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe Pisces. Everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. If you want a different view, you can go and look at the collective readings that are up. We did career and money. What are their intentions towards you and how they see you? I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, again, everything is below. I will see you guys next week when we do it again. And to everyone else, I will see you in tomorrow's new moon and Scorpio video. Bye, Pisces.